Hello, ExoSage here on the Sage channel, and we're back in Medieval Engineers, the pre-release version of this game. In fact, it's the pre-alpha version. On February 19th, if you'd like to get your hands on this game, you will be able to, because on February 19th, the devs will be releasing this game on Steam Early Access. And of course, as they have done before with Space Engineers, they will continue to add to this game. Now, today, what I'm going to be doing is going ahead and building some stuff here on this platform to give you an idea how building works in this game. Unfortunately, the devs have asked me not to show the UI because it's all very placeholder right now, so they don't exactly feel comfortable with that, but I will show you some of the basics here. Now, rotation currently in this build works the same as it does in Space Engineers, where you can rotate a block around, except for because this game has a lot of physics-based objects, which means this block, if you turned it on its side, wouldn't exactly work correctly if you were to turn it on its side, because look at the bricks, the way they're laid. I think the simulation is based around that, and of course, if you turn the texture that way, it wouldn't make sense that the brick would actually hold up you'd expect them to fall apart so you can only rotate some of these blocks around like this whereas others you can flip over on top of themselves anyway another amazing thing or at least the most amazing thing about just building this game besides the fact that everything does actually have physics simulated is the fact that you can put blocks within blocks so if i go ahead and select a different block i can go ahead and start placing this around here again you can do click and drags when you're in creative mode just as you can in Space Engineers. It's very helpful for simple stuff like this. A lot of stuff you do find yourself in need of more advanced things. And there we go. I've got ourselves a nice little basic edge around this structure here. Now, of course, you might be saying, oh, that's pretty good. But if you're used to Space Engineers, you're now realizing that, okay, I can't put anything else here. Well, if you decided, you know what, in that corner right there, I also want to have some railing. So you switch over to your railing, and this is a piece of wooden railing. And while you're aiming at this block, of course you can't place it right there, but you press Alt and it merges in with the other block and you can place it. Now, mind you, remember this is early alpha, so this is subject to change. You might not be able to put a wooden something in with a stone something. They might have limitations placed in in the future, but for now you can do this. So you can see here I can line this up so I know it's going to be in this orientation that I have it right now. When I aim at something, I press Alt, it pops right in there. So now I have that. Now what I can do is go ahead and start putting in the walls of this castle. And right there, right away, you also find an issue where usually if you're in Space Engineers, you would have to be using something similar to, let's see, where did I hide this block? There we go, found it. Similar to this, which is basically a huge, huge thick wall. Well, in Medieval Engineers, they've gone ahead and added in this nice little wall here. But of course, if I put that right there in a good old Space Engineers normal way, you wouldn't be able to place another block right there. So you'd have a big opening. Well, pressing Alt like we did before, we place it right there. And you might have noticed some that there was some there Z fighting right here originally. In fact, I can aim at it, press Alt, and right click, and it'll remove it again. So really quickly, when I'm just pressing Alt, you can see the Z fighting at the corner there. When I actually place it down, you can see that goes away, and it's replaced by this little top block there. And it's actually merging it all together and changing it with a whole other model to actually give you a little bit extra detail because it realizes this is a corner piece. So it gives in these little bricks there to make it look even better. So that's pretty awesome. We can carry on down this wall. Uh, let's go ahead and switch up to a different one that we have here. We can go ahead and put in a few windows and then switch back to this one here. Get to the back side. And we'll actually go ahead and just carry on the back of this pretty normally here. And again, using the control button to place multiple ones, rotating it to the way I want it before pressing Alt to place it down there, and then going ahead and carrying on. It's really pretty dang impressive. Now, of course, I've just forgotten that we're going to need some other way to get around to this balcony here. So I'm going to quickly switch up to one of these larger archway blocks here. So I've now placed that in, so we'd have a way to go in and out. And I've just realized also we didn't have any windows on the other side, so we're going to go ahead and just put some windows in here as well. If I can find the button I added on, there we go. So pretty simple there. It's a lot like Space Engineers, except for look at all the room we have inside of there. We don't have these big hefty walls now. Now, of course you could, if you want, have these big hefty walls for extra security, but you can if you want to have these nice, thin, small rooms. And the fact that you can place blocks within blocks means if I wanted to add something to one of these walls, like all of a sudden I decide, you know what? I really want to have, let's say, a stairwell right here. I can go ahead and press Alt right now, and it would add this stairwell into the stairwell into the wall right here, and it would actually work. The wall would still be there. You wouldn't have to have a big block and then the stairs. Now, of course, I do have some other stairs I want to put in. I think I want to actually put them in. Yeah, let's put them in right here. And the stairs I want, I think, will be these. So let's actually start right. 
Yeah, right like this, right there. And then I want some different stairs. They have a two different types of stairs currently. So you got those stairs I just put in, which actually have a rounded edge to them. In fact, we don't want those, we want these. And you see there, I didn't hold alt, held, hold alt when I removed that, so it removed it all. Let's switch to this one, alt, place it back in there. You can see, once again, it puts it all back together. And you can see from the outside, even though these stairs go all the way out to the far wall, they actually do not clip through. It's actually really well done. And anything you do clip through, remember this is early alpha, expect things to change. And I'm building up right now instead of just putting the stairwell up because I know that if I don't put in proper support, this whole thing will come crumbling down. So even when you're building, you have to remember that actually take that into account. There is actually a feature to disable physics currently, but I must remind you that everything is subject to change. So that might not be there on the full release. Now for this one here, I actually don't want to have the square one, this one like that. I want the rounded one like this. So let's go ahead, place that in here. And then, yeah, I think we ideally we'd have one more and then we'd be up to the height I'm really wanting. Now the reason I'm doing that is because down here on the bottom floor, I'm actually wanting to have some walls to block this off from the rest of everything. So we're gonna go ahead, press Alt. Once again, you can see now we've merged that block there with this one. And you can see there's a little bit of Z fighting there. Remember early alpha, things will be changed and fixed in time. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and continue putting these walls in here. Just like I said, using the pass through thing where you can put multiple blocks in different spots. You can see it's much more compact than anything you would see in Space Engineers. And then this point here, well, we have curved wall blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of those. That's a window one, they have a window one, and then they have this door one. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that right there. And you see we've got a little gap here where these two pieces won't actually structurally support each other properly. So I'm gonna hold Alt, right click, and remove that one. Then I'm gonna switch back to this wall and place it right there so it lines up perfectly. And now you can see all these blocks that we have intersecting each other, we now have, well, what we wanted. And it's high detail. It's fantastic. And of course it is all physics simulated. So I can keep going through here. Keep adding this all up. Uh, we can go up to the next floor and go ahead and add in this block here, this block here. And in fact, I think that should, should we add one more? In fact, this should have been, once again, this should have been a square one. So we can go ahead and place a square bit of stairs in right there. And then it would have been a rounded piece. So let's go ahead and get that rounded piece in right here because this is the only spot we needed the rounded one. So we can have a square corner and a round corner or all square just using that square piece or all rounded using the rounded pieces. The, the possibilities in this are fantastic. They've actually thought of a lot of stuff to allow you have a bunch of very nice organic shapes to everything. It's pretty impressive. Now you see there, there was a misclick. I wasn't holding alt when I placed it and it was even rotated the wrong way. So you can see it's placed it, it flo placed it floating there. And we're actually very lucky that this didn't come crashing down on us. So let's go ahead and remove that really quickly. See, it's gone now. Now let's rotate this around. So now you see once we place it over there, it'll be intersecting that block in the same way we had it. There we go, that was a bit scary. I really was afraid that was going to come falling down on us there. And let's go ahead and build this wall up right to there. So this will be our next floor right here. And we're actually going to go ahead and as well, close off this gap here. Right here, I want a window. So let's go ahead and select a block with a window as we did earlier. Place that in there, right here. We'll just have the standard one again. Trying to aim to the right spot. Again, there's actually a block here because this one block right there is actually filling it up. We just press Alt, it fills in that spot. It's amazing how useful that is, it really is. Now let's go ahead and just fill these two in right here. Pretty nice. In fact, a lot of times holding the Alt to actually place it inside the block you're aiming at is actually a lot easier than trying to place them other ways. It's very, very, very impressive. Very happy with this. And one last one like there. There we go, we got our tower built now. Pretty cool stuff. And let's go ahead and just fill this in. And then for our floor up here, if we were to go ahead and actually have stone all the way up, and we don't want a window we want. Oh, uh, what do we want? That's like a doorway-ish thing or a larger window. There we go, fill that in. Now if we were to go ahead and have stone all up here, you might end up finding yourself in a spot of bother with the weight being too much for just a big stone floor there. In fact, the only block that you really have for a stone floor would be something like this, which would be far, far too heavy. They have wood floors in this game. It's fantastic, actually. So let me go ahead and just really quickly pop up the walls around the edges here. There we go. Got those up. I'm actually a bit terrified that this thing is about to fall over because obviously these are very, very tall, thin walls and not much support. So if at any moment this thing just starts to cave in, well, that would be why. Let's go ahead and also put some of these. Where'd they go now? 
some of these in here. There we go. That way we have our way in. Again, this thing is looking a bit rickety, but of course at the very top, we're going to want to go ahead now and place in these nice wooden floors. And so we can go ahead and click and drag out just as we would holding control and shift. Nice light floors. And there we go. We have this whole thing here. Now they do have a spot to fill this gap in. But last time I looked at it, yeah, there's a technical glitch on it. Remember, that's will be fixed. In fact, it was working just earlier. So just know if you see any glitches here, they're almost surely to be fixed or at least greatly improved at release on February 19th. So there you go. You can see how it built all the way up to the next floor. Very, very cool. And of course, adding in more detail, you can easily go ahead and I believe it was these. Yes, indeed. There we go. You can see we have these little hangy outy bits. I forget their actual technical name, please forgive me. But you can go about and add detail in very easily with these things here going around our building. Our very, very silly building with poor support that I'm sure will come crashing down if I continue on the way I am, which I will. And I even noticed that it works pretty well with this block here where you can see into a little window in between those two blocks. It's pretty awesome. And now we can go ahead and actually add up our walls. So we're gonna add in the walls here. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, this wall right here, let's not have you be a proper wall. Let's hold Alt and remove just that one. We want you to actually be a doorway as well. So we're going to go ahead and select our door and place that in there. There we go. Nice little doorway that will lead out onto this tiny little space here. You might be saying, well, Sage, that's awfully dangerous looking. Yes, it is, my friends. But we can, and they do actually have corner pieces for this too to make sure it looks really nice. But we can, let me go ahead and add those. There we go, flew around and added all those. We can add these little tiny turrets to everything. So, there we go. They actually have a specific one just for these, where you can see it's placed in the middle, that way it lines up perfectly with these bits here. So we can actually go through and add these all around the whole thing. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna keep on building with this thing. I could probably keep on building. Let's just actually go ahead and put in one more layer here. And, yep, there we go. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Too much weight on one spot. We've actually brought something down. In fact, it looks like, yes, indeed, my poor construction has actually resulted in the loss of structural integrity on the whole thing. Anyway, guys, that's it. I think you got the gist of how this works. You can build up some pretty interesting structures. You have to do it in logical fashions. When the survival mode is added, I'm sure it'll be even more dangerous with lots of wooden supports being built just to get you up to the heights to keep building and get your supplies up there. Anyway guys, I am enjoying this game greatly. It's impressive. The blocks inside blocks thing really is revolutionary in a lot of ways. And I am pretty sure the devs will be adding that back into Space Engineers because remember this is the same people who made Space Engineers. And don't worry, Space Engineers will still be updated. They've hired new people to help with this new game. That way they don't have to worry about being split 50-50 between each game. But they're taking some of the stuff they've learned from this, like all that voxel sculpting stuff works here. It was originally developed for this game, and they brought it back into Space Engineer. So it's pretty damn great stuff. I hope you guys are liking it as much as I am. I am really damn impressed with it all. It's, it's really something else. I mean, yeah, it's pretty damn great. And I can throw little boulders right now, which is pretty damn great in its own right. And continue bringing down this building. But yeah, as I was saying, as I got distracted by just realizing how interesting it was, how this building collapsed, you can, there we go, you will almost surely be seeing blocks inside blocks brought back into Space Engineers eventually because the devs have mentioned wanting to do so. Yep. Anyway guys, thanks a bunch for watching and I shall see you next time. Pretty damn impressive. Damn impressive.